I saw for, um, label the diagram. So that's radius, the radius is R and R. And we've got to express the length of DE in the terms of R and theta. Okay, well, that's R there as well. And to do that, it's parallel. So I can just bring that down here. And so I can see that DE will equal the whole length across here, which will be 2R minus, and I've got to subtract this bit here, that bit there, I could use this right angle triangle here, and that will be R cos theta. Not sure about that, we've got so car to that. And we want to find out the adjacent, and the adjacent is cos theta times the hypotenuse. So it's R cos theta, but it's also going to be taken away that one. That's also R cos theta, so it'll be minus 2R cos theta. That's the first bit. And second bit, um, we're going to show that. Show this, and it says there the length of DE is equal to the length of each of the minor arc CD. Well, the minor arc CD and CE, they're both R theta. And so that says that 2R minus 2R cos theta must equal R theta. And that's pretty much done. Uh, so I'm going to uh, divide through by R. So R is going to disappear out there. And I am to put everything onto the right hand side. And so that'll be cos theta plus theta minus 2, and that'll be 0 here. Or I can write it on the other way around. Theta plus cos theta minus 2 equals 0. It's done that bit. Sketch graph of that was well, cos theta just from 0 to 180 over 2, that's 90. So I want the first bit of cos. That starts up here. Sort of like so. It goes up to 1, and that's pi over 2. That's good. And by drawing a graph a suitable equation of a straight line, show that that has exactly one root. Well, so I, what I've done, I've got y equals cos theta. So what I'm going to try and do is find out what does cos theta equal. Because whatever that is, I've drawn y equals cos theta, and I'll do the other bit here. So I've missed out a 2 here. That should have a 2 in there, and that should have a 2 in there. Right, so what I've got, I've got 2 cos theta equals, uh, take away theta, and add 2, and then I'm going to get cos theta equals minus theta over 2 plus 1. So I've got cos theta on the left, so all I have to do is draw the line minus theta over 2 plus 1. So that's the line I've got to draw, y equals minus theta over 2 plus 1. So when theta equals 0, theta equals 0, y will equal 1. So that's there. And then I've got to, if theta equals pi over 2, then y will equal, uh, that'll be pi divided by 2, divided by 2, and y will equal 0 0.2146, which is about there on my diagram and so you can see quite plainly that it's going to cross just once so I've shown that verify the calculation it's between here well it has been in red when theta equals 1.10 I got theta plus 2 cos theta minus 2 equals 0 0.00719 and I'll do it in green. When theta equals 1.11, theta plus 2 cos theta minus 2 equals negative 0 0.000676. And therefore we have a sign change between the positive and the negative. We have a continuous function. Uh, function and therefore theta must lie between those two values so between 1.10 and 1.11 and uh, that's done